The button is pressed. The recording is on. Alright, hopefully I have enough. Off to the fucking I should have races, space. Finn. I really, I really clear, mm -hmm. I've been clearing my phone like crazy. I should have space. I'm sure you do. No spill my tea today, please. Snort, 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 snort. No promises. Alright, super cash. Ooh. Just fucking Hold bump on. it. Oh yeah, I like kicked it. You goof. It's Just leave it. Okay, yeah, I'm great. sure it's fine. You didn't bump it that much. I Doesn't did. Like I it. really kicked it. Yeah, it's fine. But I think I slid it back. Uh-huh. Okay, you ready? Yep. Okay. Is that right? Is it supposed to be Uh-huh. It's down. It's fine. Okay. Um, Doesn't matter either way. There. Hey, you guys. Welcome to another um, What did we name video? this fucking Episode thing? of Mr. and Mrs. M. M. The vlogcast. Okay. It's late at night and I'm tired. God, that's so awful. We need a better name. What's the be what's a better name? There are no good names. There are no good no names. No YouTube show has a good name. No. I'm sure there's like three of them, but I Mr. Can't and Mrs. Them. M is like really neutral. It's self explanatory, but it's boring. It's bland. But like maybe it's like not secretly, because like Mr. and Mrs. Smith. That's Hated not boring that movie. or bland. I'm not saying a movie either it was but in general. Yeah, fair. You know? Mm-hmm. Uh, I just got back from the movies. Speaking of movies. Yeah, you went to see an old people movie. He keeps making... Okay. old people. I need to give him some credit. He's been making fun of me all week mm -hmm. for going to see this old lady movie. What's it called, Rainbow? It's called Book Club. What's your review, Rainbow? The movie was was great. It yeah. was super funny. It was really good. Mm-hmm. Kate, go on, Rainbow. <laughs> he keeps making fun of me. Vindicate me. All week, because, oh, the old lady movie, old lady movie, I'm like, Cody, yeah, some old ladies are going to be there, but it's not like, this is not that much of an old lady movie. Um, there was literally oxygen tanks in the aisle, like. We live in a small town, and the theater is a one, me. a one show theater. Can't fool me. Uh, you, this is why usually we go to the city for our movies, yeah. but it's like old and uh, vintage. Yeah, it's cozy. It's, it's co <laughs> It's real cozy. I like it, but it's like... Yeah, it's so okay. first we go in, we get there right when the doors open, but I yep. think because there were so many old people, they let they open the doors earlier. Probably. To let them all in. Yep. So I go in and there was so They've many people They've been up since 4 a.m. <laughs> oh my god. I go up to the... So there's this booth in our theater. Like it's it's like one room and then you get a booth where only adults, adults only. can sit. <laughs> and it's just probably... How many seats do you think is up there? 14, maybe. No, like yep, 20. about 14. No. I don't know. It's not very big. Three, six. Because that row is big. 15 to 20 people could fit in that one row. Anyway. Yeah, about 20. That's not the most important thing. But I go up there and there's just two ladies just sitting in the entire row being like, this whole thing is saved. It's like... Two no. ladies oh, trying just, to save the entire... I just shook that shit so hard. Trying to save I just earthquake the camera. The entire booth. R.I.P. And I was like, really? Right. really? Nice. Okay. So I was polite and I left because I'm not going to argue with some old ladies tonight. Mm -hmm. Not happening. So then... I just dropped my wedding ring on the ground. Because my girlfriend was taking I'm a, a really call good outside. Husband. Great. He fiddles with it. And so she comes in and she goes up to the booth to yeah. see for herself. And she's like, can I sit here? No, it's all saved. She's, she's like, hmm. so we just come down and we had to go sit in the middle yeah. because like there was just, there were ladies saving rows of seats of course. for like their, their entire book Whole clubs. book clubs. All yep. the book clubs. I think there was like a couple. This of row them. is book club. This row is like cross stitch. This one's needlepoint. Like this one, they've just. There was maybe like, I don't know. I maybe saw like 10 other people kind of my age ish. Yeah. Like, like, like my age plus. Yeah. So, anyway. 20 to 30. Then, okay, it's nice because sometimes the small theaters, like, the atmosphere is really good. But then there was an oxygen tank going in the background of every quiet part, which was like... <sighs> yeah, you just saw a movie with Darth Vader. <laughs> it was, like, I get it. It was just yeah. annoying because I've never heard that in the theater before. Yeah. But Rainbow, speaking of movies, hobbies. Yeah. What a segue. I'm a fucking professional. You are. Don't you dare say otherwise. I'll come to your house. Okay, so what we wanted to talk about today yeah. is 
We thought we would talk about people have a lot of questions and, and a lot of comments about um, our hobbies and what we do in our spare hobbies. time and that we like have hobbies I suppose or mm-hmm. that we have a lot of hobbies I don't know yeah so we figured we would kind of chat about that because totally. <laughs> making me uncomfortable you're just like I feel like it, you're I, just so pretty. I can't look away. Keep talking. Oh my gosh! I just thought like, am I saying the wrong thing? No. Are you expecting something? I'm just not gonna cut you off. Be like, oh, oh well, Rainbow, you're trying to explain this, but allow me to mansplain for a second. By the way, if you've ever used that word with like a hundred percent confidence, go fuck yourself. That is not a thing. <laughs> I love you. Oh love man. You too, okay, so if you. Uh, or unaware. Can I put my leg? I don't want to like put my knee in the camera. My leg's already like up like this. Um. You can do that. Get comfy, dude. I am comfy. I just don't want to get like. Get comfier. Fucking... I'm in some hot get pants. Get real man. fucking comfy. I don't want to get that comfy on camera. We already had that problem. Last week I we had... filmed without pants. No, I know, but I just had to edit in like an entire section out of a vlog because of hot pants you problems. Can see your entire vagina, basically. <laughs> I was making coffee, and I was in my pajama shorts, and they were the tiniest shorts. Big fan. There's a lot of camel in that video. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Okay. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Woo! If you edit any of this out, I swear to god we're getting a divorce. Wow. This is gold. That's the point of this. I'm trying not to edit these. Good. So that's why we have to be careful. Okay. Hobbies. Yeah. We have quite what a few hobbies. What are your hobbies? Um, I have, I have a lot of Give hobbies. me your top two. I'm like a dipper. Top oh, two. Oh, I can't. This is a ho- this. Vlogging and such. Vlogging and editing and, and yeah. this channel is a hobby of mine. Yeah. Um, what would you say my, I have a lot of hobbies. I don't know if I can top two this. I don't know. I say this is one of the tops because I spend so much time doing it. This is your toppy, tippy. Tippy toppy. Yeah. Tippinist. I spend a crap ton of time. Editing and, and shit. energy. You also play a lot of Sims and other like kind of like semi games. No, see, uh, you go you go through spurts. I would, um, say video, also, I would say video games are like very low on my like hobby yeah, yeah, yeah. priority. You also <laughs> like doodle, journal, read Art. books. Oh, reading. Reading is huge for you. That's huge. I you read crushed a book in like three days. It was upsetting. Still working through mine. That's because he he buys me books and he's like this should this should last you like like a, a few like this should last you it's your like camping a, trip or it's right? like a month book right and it's three days later and she's <laughs> like Cody it was so good I need another one I'm like fuck <laughs> yeah that's why I keep like eight books I haven't read in my shelf yeah so that I have a constant flow fair, fair, and a fair. library card I'm weird though totally. about that um I play instruments badly. Yeah, you ukulele. I'm working on it. And you sing, and you make me put in headphones while you sing, because you're self-conscious sometimes. That's not true. A little bit. A little, a a little, little bit. Sometimes I get shy. I don't like when you listen to the warm-up period. That's fine. Singing is a really big passion of mine. I just don't share it with very many people. That's fair. Yeah. Singing's weird. Singing's weird. We sing together. In the car. I wish you would sing more with me. Like, I wish we could duet and stuff because that I'm would be not, so cute i'm not that you confident are singer no you're good i i can be a good singer at one specific level beyond we just have that to find like right i'm songs fucked then. yep 100 percent. yeah uh what would you say my hobbies are top five D and D. yes dungeons and dragons right now yeah warhammer yes warhammer is, is it its kind own of- thing Whereas painting, painting, yeah, is painting. another thing. He paints minis. Yeah, as you can see, literally right behind me right now, I'm in the middle of painting an Imperial Knight. You play video it's games? It's fucking huge. Uh, yeah. One more. What's the pinky? What's the fifth? We, I don't. There's a lot. How about longboarding? We both longboard. Yeah, yeah, longboarding. I, I'm just going for arbitrary numbers, because YouTube loves lists. Yeah. Top YouTube five hobbies does of husbands and wives. Lists. It's because it's cl- it, click it's clickbaity and it works. People, people are like, people I would love to it. know what the top five dogs because are. I think it's because it's simple and people go, oh, that that's like I understand that right mm-hmm. away. I know what I'm expecting, and it's easy. Yeah, it's easy to consume. Yeah. Um, Specifically, though, what? 
because the, the topic of the video wasn't just, these are what we do as hobbies. No, it's, we wanted, people are really curious about how we are able to have hobbies as parents yeah. and maintain a healthy, happy marriage and relationship and like how that works. Because yeah. I know a lot of people have a hard time with it. It is not easy. There is a lot of shit happening behind the scenes. Oh, of course. Like we are so busy. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm a busy boy. There's so much, like it takes a lot of balance and every family is unique and every relationship is unique and different, but I think everybody is like, there's an, I don't know, why are we so busy? Why are people so busy? I don't know. That's a good question. We like to make ourselves busy. You like to make our, ourselves busy. I like to not be busy <laughs> at all. That's kind of true. I just try to fit, it's not even that I like to be busy, I like to fit everything in, but I also kind of do like to be busy, don't I? Yeah. I kind of need it. You 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 love being busy, hundred percent. It's okay. It's a weird thing, but anyway. Balance each other out. Yeah, we do balance each other out. But um, what would you say is our biggest, like, uh, how do I phrase this, like strength in supporting each other's hobbies and stuff? Ooh, see, because it wasn't. Let's be honest here, we weren't always the best at supporting each other's hobbies. Oh my god. Back when we were first kind but of dating like, and together. Wait, 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 no, 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 I gotta no, tell the story. No, you can, but before yeah. you do, yeah. I think it's important to say that like, it's pretty normal in a relationship for that to happen. Oh, of you, course. Like, you need to grow and, and learn to, like, be a, the best spouse you can be. Of course. So I think that just kind of comes with the territory. But no, I was not supportive of his hobbies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I... Well, some of them. <laughs> yeah, I, video games specifically. Mm. When we first started dating and, like, living together and stuff... I would play video games. Don't make me sound like could not play video asshole. games around Rainbow. She did not like video games. You could, and but like I, I was definitely I was banned from certain video games, specifically World of Warcraft. <laughs> I wasn't allowed it in the house at That's all. That's not quite true. Eventually, it was. There was a period where I got yeah. real cranky with it. Let's be uh -huh. fair though; you were on it way too much. Like that was why. Because I was seventeen. Eighteen, nineteen. Whatever. Yeah. World of Warcraft's pretty good. We worked it out though. That's the still important bit. Play well. We figured it out. Yeah. Oh, of still, course. Now I meme hate it. Yeah. I'm like, he he he'll bring it up. He'll be like, oh, like a new expansion is coming up. I, for I wow. told her that yesterday. She rolled her eyes so hard they almost fell out of her head. It was crazy. I know. He had to catch them. Yeah. Thanks. I always got my eyes. <laughs> I was gonna say I always got my back. <laughs> That's <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> it's a bad joke. I hope I have your eyes. You have mine. Oh my god, I can't even handle this on camera. Okay, this is one thing that <laughs> I've gotten, people have gotten angry at me. Yeah. Well, in the past. I'm better at it now. But I used to not know how to accept compliments. And this guy is like overflowing river of compliments. That's all I do. That's all I got, honestly. And it used to just make me a, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Self-deprecation, <laughs> compliments. <laughs> um, yeah, no, but people were like, Oh, he always like comment, compliments you so much, and you don't seem like because I get I used to get embarrassed. I still yeah. kind of do, but I I feel like I accept them more. Now. Yeah. But yeah, I used to get like people used to get mad at me, which is fair. I understand mm -hmm. how that could look. Yeah. But so hobbies anyway. though. Yeah. So hobbies. Back on track. Rainbow. Back on track. It's when it's late at night and I'm tired. It's like ten o'clock. Late at it's night. It's been a long day, and I just got back from a very stuffy movie. I am laughing It is 10.25 on Tuesday, June 26th. This is when we're filming this. Yes. You won't see this until... Eventually. Thursday, July 5th. Theoretically. No. Happening. I mean, like, they might not necessarily watch it when it comes out. Oh, true. You know what I mean? That's true. Not everybody does that. That's fair. I don't do that. That's fair. But with, with, with Rainbow, the thing I love to do for her hobby specifically is I'm a terrible financial enabler. Anytime she's like, Cody, I would love to do this. I'll just go fucking buy it for He's her. He's bad. And be like, here, do it then. She'd be like, oh no, but I like, I was just kind of like talking about it. Like, I don't know, like it, it costs like 60 bucks. And it's like, yeah, so fucking what? Let's go. Get on it, dude. Like, yeah. come on. Come on, man. Like years ago when you're first like, you know what, Cody? I, you, you were watching like longboard dancing videos on YouTube. And we're like, I would love to learn how, how to longboard. We were at West 49. I saw like... It was on sale for 20% off or some shit. Yeah. But it was still like 150 bucks or something. Mm -hmm. And I was like, all right, cool, we're doing this. And like for 10 minutes, it was like, no, like, it's a lot. It was like, yeah, but 
you've been talking about it for like three or four he's months so now. He's so encouraging. Just fucking do it. He's the most encouraging person where it makes me, I feel like I almost have to watch what, like make sure I'm invested before I open my mouth because he'll just be like, let's do it. I support you. Fair. You're amazing. And I need to work on that See, better. But, but on the I'm, other side of the coin. I'm not terrible at it. But I am also a terrible financial enabler of my own hobbies. Like, yeah. constantly, where it's like, when we're out, it's like, hey, Rainbow, uh, I need to go get, like, three three more colors of paint. But at the like same time, we also kind of live bucks. by the theory that you need to do what makes you happy yeah. while you are alive now. Yeah, fuck. So... I, I, I hate... If you wait, oh, or if you, like, I, if I it's always a gift that. for, like, once a year, Christmas no, or just birthday... Just do it, Like, dude. Make, make yourself happy, man. Live life your life hard. while you're living. I yeah. can't stand the people who, like save for everything or like plan or too have, far ahead or just everything is focused on like just in case. later or planned or like whatever it's like yeah but like i think what this are you doing today this philosophy that we kind of share is a big reason we live the way we do we're kind of minimalistic we like impulsive <laughs> impulse but like i think that's why we live simply and we don't have you know three cars and I don't work and the kids are in a public school and we don't have a big house and yeah. a white picket fence. Like, it's just nothing we want. Yeah. It's not us. But. That sounds awful. Th yeah. <laughs> Unless th those three cars are all. Teslas. Are, no, no, no. I don't want three Teslas. <laughs> no, we don't, don't want, fucking we don't point need to that. Two I want a Tesla. I want the Tesla Roadster because you need a sports car. Then I want a Ferrari 458 because you need a supercar. So. Hey, uh, anonymous rich people watching YouTube videos, fucking hit me up, my dudes. <laughs> that's how that happened. Yo, Elon. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice if that's how it worked? Can you sponsor our life? <laughs> Here's the thing. Like, a, a, a person like Elon Musk gets so many, like, people trying to do that every single fucking day. Yeah. That, like, it's gotta just bug the absolute shit oh, yeah. out of him. That would be so frustrating. Yeah. If you put yourself in their shoes. Anyway. Um, we have a lot of hobbies. I'm very much a dipper. Tons I dip hobbies. into everything. You... I go hard. Go hard. I go hard as fuck. Like, yeah. when I started playing Dungeons and Dragons... We both kind of have that similarity, too. Oh, no, like, totally. when we decide we're gonna do something... We go, we go into Bam. it. Bam. Like, when Bam. I started playing D&D, it was just, like, a spur of the moment, like, I'm gonna go on this random I, Wednesday I to the like hobby to store in this. town. And then, like, within, like, two or three weeks, it's, like... Fucking everything is like I'm, I'm theory crafting characters, I'm writing backstories. I'm like doing all the shit. He moved his way because like it, it's a community in there, and he moved his way from like the first guy to now helping run the entire store. At least the D and D part of it. Yeah. Well, sometimes you literally yeah <laughs> get asked to run the store. Yeah. So, um, no, and like you got and just your equipment, just over a year and a half. Your equipment is like. What should be years of collecting? Oh no! Like, and like I say, I go hard, so I have like. But he's a very researched. The dumbest, dude, so it's all coolest cool. shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's all silly and useless, but I like, I go too. fucking ham. Yeah. I don't. I, I don't, don't collect around. as many like gadgety things, mm. but I kind of do because like your your hobbies are less material than mine. Mine are very like here's the things I have and the things I do. Although my yours hip, are, my hippie stuff more, does does is that a hobby? That's a lifestyle. Yeah. No, your hobbies <laughs> like, aren't very material, though. No. Like, if you think about it, like, you doodle in your journals. You need a fucking pack of pencil crayons and, like, a million journals. But, like, you go to the dollar store and buy that shit. Like, well, no, I like, all of I my like, hobbies I are, like, like, like nice ones. hey, Rainbow, I need a $200 mini because it's really fucking Well, that's cool. the one thing. We bought one ukulele, and now that's my ukulele. And yeah. I, I bought, well, we did buy another longboard after because I figured out what I liked. Yeah. And then you bought a longboard. But that's another thing too. I got him like we get each other so into each other's longboarding. hobbies sometimes. No, I'm better than her. Yeah, because Like I say, I go hard. Yeah. But I feel like there's with longboarding it's a little bit different. Of course. A lot of people don't like don't expect us to longboard. But we look like we longboard. Like we look skater yeah. we, we look like skaters. I'm wearing a fucking chair with flamingos okay. on it. Like that I bought from a skateboard <laughs> yeah. store. This is West 49 shit, like, but, um, literally, skateboard store. A lot of the time that happens where somebody, one, not somebody, one of us will get into a hobby, 
mm -hmm. and slowly convert the other. Yeah. Like, but back to like supporting things. Mm hmm. I used to not be very supportive with some of his hobbies. Yeah. Specifically gaming. That was really the thing. It took me a while. Specifically nerd shit. It's just that at the time, my nerd shit consisted of like primarily gaming. Yeah. Um, I think why it works so well with us though is because we. It's one thing to just support and be like, oh yeah, go ahead and do that hobby and do whatever you want. And it's another thing to actually like try and put forth genuine effort to learn about the other person's hobby, yeah. learn why they love it, learn why it's important to them and be excited with them even though it's not your hobby. Yeah. Like you don't have to, like I'm I'm not into painting minis. I've never played D&D &D yet. Yeah. That's happening. That's got to That's more happen. of a that's Shit, that's we could maybe do that on Friday. Thing. Yeah, oh, look at the moon. Oh. Very pretty. So pretty. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> You're great. Oh, thanks. You're great. Thank you. But I think that's a really important part that's simple, but I think it's lacking in a lot of areas. And I think that's why a lot of people might run into tension or friction is because yeah. it's like, nah, your stupid hobby. You gotta go hard for your buddy. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know? 100%. Yeah. Like, when Rainbow wanted to start longboarding, I started to help her out. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, it's shit like that. I, I think the other, and probably the biggest reason why, like, we can do our hobbies and do stuff, we give each other the time to do them. Yeah. We, we let each other separate and do our hobbies. Like, our stations are upside each other. Well, when you're like doodling or playing Sims, I'm right there painting. Like That's we can still chat, too. but like we try and keep it together. We have our own personal times. Yeah. Like like every Wednesday. Now that I'm not working, uh, I have the time <laughs> to. Uh, I get out of the house from like one o'clock to like almost midnight because I go to the hobby store. I paint until like six o'clock. I do an hour of prep. I play D&D &D for two hours, he also then I go kinda, to the pub for food for a bit, he also and uses it as, like, office time, because we live in a tiny house, and yeah. there's no alone time. But, like, that's the kind of thing where, like, we give each other the time to do and things. And the space to do... And we make sure it fits in our schedule. Every like, Tuesday you go with your friend. It's the... It, it's not necessarily a hobby, but it's kind of a good example. It's, like, space like away. It's making the I'm time more, for each other to have, do our own you things. You have more set times when you go out yeah. and besides Tuesday I'm like oh Usually I'm gonna grab coffee with somebody grabbing coffee with me is like four hour long it's ridiculous thing. I don't know how you can talk that long and it's not enough I know usually. it's crazy yeah it, it, it's a little excessive but awesome um but yeah I think it's important to just schedule it in yeah. and, and I the support is such a big deal like even if you think it's lame or like it's not your thing. How hard is it really to try to understand why they love it to, so much? Or like, because that's the thing. I don't have to like painting and Warhammer and stuff. Yeah. I don't understand it, the Warhammer thing yet. It's I'm still cool. learning about that. But at the same time, he's like, "What do you think about this color palette?" Because that's I can I can help there. Oh yeah, Rainbow chose I my whole color you. scheme for the night that I'm painting, which is a big deal. Because I was like, "Rainbow, what should I do with this?" She's like, "Yellow and white." I was like, "Yeah, that's fucking genius." Yellow and gray. Oh yeah, yellow and gray. Yeah. Well, it's like an off-white gray, but it yeah, is, it's cool. Color. It's kind of both. But I, like, it's not that hard to put mm -hmm. forth some effort. Like, and that's the thing. I love to see you happy. I want to see you happy. I want to see you living your best life, mm -hmm. being fabulous. You know. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> queen. I've been watching it with a queer eye. <laughs> yes. Jonathan is, is rubbing off of me. Is that gay Jesus? Which one's that yeah. one? Okay. <laughs> I like gay Jesus. <laughs> um, but I want to see him happy, and yeah. I want to see him enjoying his life because Same. when he, when his cup is full. Then he can pour it, it can into our overflow family into yours. and into mine, and like it just helps like him enjoying his life. Yeah, makes it better for me. So let your partner be happy, and their happiness will spill over into your and life. And because I, yeah, there you go, wisdom from. Don't try coach. and fucking can control hobbies and be like, no, that's dumb. You don't get to do it. Like that's you just put in, that is a fucking divorce waiting well, to happen. Also, you have to remember, like no, 
one person can control it. You're two different people coming together. Yeah. You have to be two different people. Oh, still. I was wondering what Finn was learn. doing. We went to the farm today and pet dogs. <gasps> oh, he is. So a, Finn's just going ham, you, yeah. smelling my pants. Yep. Yeah. They can't oh, see it. Because Powder was like smelling my pants. Powder was rubbing on you. Yeah. She was laying right on your lap. Mm-hmm. And that's a lot of dog. Can you stop smelling me, Finn. <laughs> Finn, stop. Uh, but I think that's a big. It's simple yet can be difficult to execute Mm -hmm. but then once you develop the habit i guess of it is habit the right word i'm not sure yeah but once you develop the habit habit. of of supporting your partner and being encouraging and and being Mm -hmm. enthusiastic about what they like then it's just part of your relationship it's easy 100 percent. absolutely yeah and then i mean the parenting factor too i think a lot of people don't it's hard to fit it in yeah with parenting but again from my perspective i want to see him happy and he wants to see me happy and he knows like for me he knows that that fills my mental health cup too yep. like that keeps me able to juggle everything of course and same with you but again different people so it's different absolutely so i think with the parenting thing we just make that a priority what Whatever's mm-hmm. not an absolute necessity in our life gets put after yeah. making sure we both have time to fill up our cups. Mm-hmm. And I think a lot of people have trouble doing that because you put a, it, you have to prioritize for you what is more important. Totally. Like, is going to, you know, eight extracurriculars and, like, all... You know, adult stuff. Yeah. Like the typical boring adult stuff we cringe at. Yeah. <laughs> or, or typical stuff. Yeah. Like, you you really do have to prioritize it because it's important. I think it's really important. And mm-hmm. it keeps us happy in our relationship, in our marriage. And I think it keeps the family happy. And not only that, but it's super important for the kids to see us enjoying hobbies and enjoying... And sharing our hobbies And with sharing the kids. our hobbies with the kids and with each other. Mm-hmm. But I think it's so important for them to see us living our own lives as well. Yeah, to absolutely. see that, like, mom and dad are more than just mom and dad, too. They're, like, cool people, I think. I hope they think that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So that encourages them to I'm also crying. do that, too. Oh, man. What, what, what are your hobbies, Finn? Barking and being an asshole? And sleeping. And sleeping. And cuddles. Yeah. And, and being cute. And swallowing big meals in one bite like a snake. And then us worrying about him because we, it looks like he's going to I die. love him. He's the worst. He's a weird dog. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we love you. So, Rainbow, closing remarks. Um, do you, have, you haven't talked a whole bunch yeah, about do. this. Do you well, have any, like, things? You kind of covered it. Like, it's just like a give each other time what to do you- it. Support each other in any way you can. Show a genuine interest in it. Mm-hmm. What would you suggest to busy parents? How to make time for hobbies? To just other how to parents? make time? Like, how, how can they make... like Steal every chance you can. Yeah. Like, Prioritize every, your every, like, 20 minutes that you have free, like, fuck surfing Twitter or Facebook or whatever. Do something yeah. more productive. Yeah. Like... That's the thing that I... Use your time more wisely. Yes. You know what I mean? And I'm not always great with that, where I'll be like, oh, I didn't have time to do anything for myself. But then if I look back on what I did, I was way too distracted with stuff that doesn't yep. matter. Or, you know, I, you fall down the rabbit hole before you know it, it's like 20 minutes mm-hmm. later, you've been scrolling. I very rarely, phone. like, fuck with my phone, but I'll, any chance I can get, I'll just, like, go to my desk quick, grab a paintbrush, and be like, trying to paint as quickly as I can yeah. until Rainbow's like, hey, Cody, it's time to go. I'm like, all right, cool. That's the thing, too. Fucking off to the races. Um, I've been asked how I read so much sometimes. Every opportunity. Instead of picking up my phone, I pick up a book. Yeah. That's kind of... You don't say. (laughs) Yeah. Wow. Because you realize you have a revelation. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. I'm not always great at it, but Mm -hmm. that is how it happens. Of course. But I think also just you got to help each other out. Absolutely. Take an extra shift so your partner can have a break and, and then have that agreement mm-hmm. that they're going to take an extra shift so that you can have a break. Yep. And get your kids involved. Trade off and that kind of stuff. And if you have the um, 
what what is it the advantage the blessing of having people in your life that mm-hmm. will watch your children for you i know you hate that word but <laughs> i see that look of um people who like grandparents or friends or aunts uncles stuff like that i mean you could definitely use that absolutely because i think i mean that would give us even more time mm-hmm. we work we work off just each other yeah but i think that would if you have that in your life that would be a good thing to utilize yeah. Use every tool available. Yeah. Absolutely. And don't be, this is a big thing. Don't be, don't feel selfish for taking time for yourself. Mm-hmm. Both of you. Yeah. Like. 100%. Because I think a lot of times you're like, oh, that's not something productive or that's not a good way to spend my day or I didn't do anything with my day if I did something for me. Mm-hmm. But that's such crap. Yeah. Totally. It's be, absolute garbage. Be happy. Don't worry, be happy. You have to you have to do what fills you up. Finn, why are you digging in my wiener? That's inappropriate. He's digging in my pants. He really wants to he wants to find powder. He does. That's the dog's name. Yeah, Finn's not on coke. <laughs> I don't have coke. I don't have cocaine all over my pants, I swear to God. Right. Turn off the camera. God. Turn off the camera. I'm incriminating myself. Rainbow, turn off the camera. Not for YouTube. We're supposed <laughs> to be perfect. Stop it. You're ruining the image. Okay, you guys. I think we're going to end closing statements. there. Closing statements. I think we just made our closing yeah, statements. Yeah, exactly. That, I was, yes. I wasn't asking. Oh. I was saying that was our closing <laughs> that statements. That was our closing statements. Goodbye, nerds. Um, I hope you enjoy. I hope, I hope you have enjoyed these. Uh, you know what you should do at the end of this video, though? Like, do a quick tour of each of our kind of hobby shit. It's so like, we'll say goodbye, and you end it, and then you go over, you like show your bookshelf, and like show like the, the things that we hobby with. Is that lame? I think it's cute. It's very YouTube. If it's lame, just turn off the fucking video. How YouTube. Oh, fuck. How YouTube of this. I know. Um, I hate myself for thinking of it. No, it's a good idea. And of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, like always, if you guys have suggestions for what you want to see in this little video series, let us know. We filmed these before we could get any feedback from you guys. Yep. Uh, but after this one, we'll we'll have hopefully ho- hopefully hopefully don't we'll have this. hopefully heard from you. Yes. So okay. Goodbye. Okay. See you later, we'll friends. See you next week. Goodbye, nerds. See ya. Bye. What was that? But wait, we aren't actually leaving because Rainbow is gonna. Show you some shit and edit that in in the end. Come Sorry to me. give you more e- more work, but I think it's a good idea. Or you can just cut this whole fucking thing out and ignore me. This is true. I'm gonna take that editing. Cool. Okay. Okay, love you, bye. See you later. Bye. Not you, I'm talking to her. Bye. I'm gonna go paint. Like, literally. Yeah. We're, I made time for her hobby by doing this video with you guys. Yes, and now, and now I'm gonna me. go paint. I'm gonna get ready for my night and edit. And then we're gonna... Uh, reconvene what i feel like that's not right do you ever do that when it's like late or you just you don't feel like you're saying right words anymore anyway look at this big beautiful boy look at him oh he is i have glasses on you don't put it that close to my face that's fair <laughs> <laughs>looking good it's very pretty because i'm building this guy normally i paint things at like this scale yeah this is a big thing and he goes there yeah or the funnier example he just built you have to paint that whole thing don't you yeah i do oh i didn't think about that so the way i'm gonna do it is because uh, like my good I'm spray like paint sponge <laughs> no my good spray paint that i used to base coat these guys mm-hmm. i ain't using Okay. So it's like $23. Buy like an $8 can of just like a metallic spray paint. Spray paint the fuck out of it. And then dry brush it with a darker metallic. Smart. And call it a fucking day. Yep. Like it's it. a shitty Metal machinery machine thing. thing. I don't need to detail this. No. I just need it to not be bare plastic. 
Fair. So I'm just going to bang that out real quick. Very smart. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, next. Uh, so this is our this is our desk setup. I, if you don't watch the vlogs and you've ever seen this. Oh, I just almost bumped my tea. This is my desk and Cody's desk. And so we just kind of chill out here and do our own thing, but we can talk, we can hold hands and talk totally. about our feelings. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Taking my light back. That's fair. My hobbies are all over the place. So this is like desk hobby stuff. I have a lot of books in a lot of places. There's and a dog. dog and laundry. Don't look at my laundry. Don't judge me. Um, I'm seeing your underwear on the top of the pile. You're fine. Yeah, it's okay. But yeah, this is just a little example of uh, how how our setup works and how we make time to do stuff. And when we longboard, we just bring the whole family. Huh? When we longboard, we just bring the whole family. And yeah. go to a park so the kids can play. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, see you later. Bye, nerds.